And is uh, Kamala last week? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, put that one up. They got Good. it. Um, I've been up for a while. As a matter of um, well, I was going to see what the uh, I put that up on X as well. Okay. Um, I guess until they call and said again to put stuff up the best you can, so we have our show out there. Shit. I mean, they said we were getting stuff. I've never seen the stuff. I don't know if you ever been to the account to see what they're talking about. So I just got a brief I've peek never... of it, so it's out there. I'd like to go. Oh, you see what you get? I go. Love to see what we got. So that's what he's yeah. trying to call for. He set up these accounts with you. So that's what he's trying to call. That was four uh, days ago. He tried to reach out to you. And of course, well, he's, yeah. back. he's gonna he's gonna go, ain't gonna chase you. So he sour is, I'm not gonna chase you. Ooh. Well, gee, then get one fucking number and stick to it. Not <laughs> as you see the problem I have. I mean, it just rings and rings and rings and rings and rings. It's always it's always says Texas. I don't know who the hell it is, but they just don't stop. So they them. They do business through there. So okay. All right. Well, I mean, you know, if I know their numbers, eight four four. I mean, right. I've talked to them before. We'll, we'll get it. All right. I'll, I'll call them today. I'll All wake right. them up. All I right. said, "Get your fucking ass out of bed." Please do. Call them today. Wake them up. Why don't we call them up while we're on the air? <laughs> up, I'm parched. You look. Um, have you had work done? Haircut, beard Haircut. trim. I had color. Had yeah. Color, color, cut and trim. Oh, very nice. You're looking okay there, buddy. Uh, <laughs> None of that great stuff for you, huh? I look damn good in the dark. Yep. <laughs> That's right, mate. All right. Looks like we're um, getting good levels. Looks like we're getting good levels here. Good. So. All right. Ready? Ready. Ready, ready, ready. Ready? Okay. ready. Go. Good. Here we go. Here we go. Hi, right, this is Chris. Let's go, Stello. Oh, boo. Oh, you sound angry, Castillo. It's Costello. Damn no. it. <laughs> this Halloween, it makes me angry. Boo. What? Oh, oh, oh. What the hell are you pissed about? Ah, I should be pissed. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd like to have a pair of teeth. I'm, I don't know about like you. I, I'm, I'm just about ready to lose it because we got well, we got a week to go. I can't take uh -huh. it anymore. It's just like I can't turn my <laughs> phone on. I can't watch a there football game or just try to watch anything regular. Even if I'm streaming, these commercials pop up. It's all political. It's like mm -hmm. the immigrants are going to come kill you in your sleep unless you vote for me. I'm just going, ah, you, the oh, economy's going to fall to shit. You know, oh, it's, just, it's like, it's what, what do you call it? Scare tactics, right? They would call it scare tactics. Oh, yeah. That's what they've been doing the whole way. Uh, as a matter of fact, let's see. Uh, well, the, the, the shit given was at uh, the Steelers game on, was that Monday night? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He was up there. Just, uh, the, and they said, Oh, you should hear them chanting USA, USA. Yeah, well, I didn't hear uh, that at all. I no, I didn't either. <laughs> I, 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 I think he's lying. You suck. You suck. You yeah. suck. <laughs> You're a fat, overweight, obese piece wow. of shit. That's, that's right at home, man, making french fries. That's for sure. Yeah. You see how wide oh, that yeah. was? And he, was, he had that fry bucket there and his jacket off, which you never take. You see how wide that big girth was back there? Holy crap. Nasty. He's, an, he's an obese man, man. That's for sure. He's fast food junkie. He said, oh, he's, well, do you remember when he first got into office and uh, I had a basketball team or somebody were invited to the White, uh, White House because they'd won? To have, and usually they'd have a state dinner. Well, they had, yeah. And remember they, they had yeah. state McDonald's. They had McDonald's, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's at a whole banquet table. There's not a pile of McDonald's going. They're going to be so happy. I'm going, great. You work and, and then he, with a world championship and you're rewarded with a, a E. coli quarter pounder. <laughs> there you go. Yep. <laughs> Extra E. coli for him. Did you yeah. eat one of those? Yeah. Yeah. Did yeah. you eat one? Do you eat an E. coli burger? Did you I don't one? I don't eat McDonald's. I don't eat fast food anymore. Good for you. I don't know. So I'm, it's very rare that I do. Occasionally I get the, the hankering for red meat. I saw today that they're because they're this is the onions. The onions came from Taylor Farms in Colorado Springs. I'm going oh, really? Because they feature stuff at Taylor Farms in the produce department sometimes where I go buy groceries. I'm going, good thing I buy about daily onions. <laughs> yeah. Taylor onions so. Well, what, what are you doing eating raw onions anyway? I, I always eat raw onions. If I'd have bought them from there, it'd be, I'd be this. Holy shit. I got E. coli. <laughs> I'm dead. Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Bailey, ventriloquist. Put the quarter pounder in there, and <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, 
By Why God. You, you stress out though with a week to go in and let's get them to you, you know? It's just mm -hmm. like a fever pitch. Mm -hmm. I was watching uh, uh, see, Combo was in uh, Houston last night. She brought mm -hmm. out the big star power. She brought up yeah, Beyonce. Yes, Beyonce. Holy crap. A lot of people there just because you get a chance to see Beyonce. You don't do that. She didn't do this that very often. So you got a week to go. That's I wonder true. if Miss Taylor and their Swift is going to make an appearance and do the same thing at a rally. Can you imagine how crazy Oh, that man, would be? that'd be fun. That would, that be, would fun. be fun. Yeah. She told me, followers, she got 25 million. She told them to all go vote for, you know, Kamala right now. Just like, boom, election's <laughs> over. <laughs> yeah. She didn't, she didn't endorse her, but I just, I'm just like, I'm just stressed. She is into that. a singer. She, huh? has endorsed, she has endorsed her. Yeah, but she's done nothing. To, I mean, she hasn't. Oh, she nothing hasn't physically. Her, yeah. She just no, tells well, people, this is who I'm endorsing and here's why. So everyone should go register and vote and vote for who you think is best. So she's trying to be. Oh. Non-committal that way, but she said herself. I was, <laughs> start, our producers are calling. Great timing. Okay, just go ahead and answer. Just tell them what we're doing. Just it's tell like them what we're doing. Well, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and answer. Just, just well, tell them the show. Yeah, yeah. We're in the middle of the show right now. Hey, mate. Listen, we're right in the middle of a show. We're, oh, okay. Uh, can we talk in like two hours? We can. Yeah. You yeah, guys we remember that. that? Remember, remember, remember the show. Remember the show. Hello. <laughs> okay, mate. Bye. Remember the show you're supposed to be promoting? Oh, oh he's gone. Hey, French <laughs> up on his ass. Yeah, yeah, well, well. Uh, well, that's good to know that they. We had to send I, I guess. Well, you texted him and made him mad. Now he's I sent him a nasty me. text before the show and went, "What are you guys doing? You know, <laughs> we want publicity." I mean, I, I don't know if you know or not, but you know, yesterday mm -hmm. uh, his, his orangeness uh, did the Joe Rogan podcast. Yesterday. Yes. Yes. I don't I know what listen it's to be it, but there. was it? Is it live? Was it live? I mean, I don't. I think they recorded it. They released it like maybe today. I don't know what the show date is. I don't know. But it made him wait for a rally in North Carolina. He showed up about ten thirty. Half the crowd already left, and of course, the Harris campaign jumped out. You're talking about crowd say, Look at the NBCs. It's supposed <laughs> to be at seven. It was three hours late. Was it? it got dipped into the forties last night. People were going, going home. Bye bye. Yeah. No kidding. I yeah. had a chance to hear it. Yes, I don't have, and no, they, no one's talked about it. I guess they haven't. I guess they haven't posted it yet. So, I guess not. I'd love to have. It's going to be a friendly thing because I think if I can't remember right, so Rogan's yeah. audience is mostly young white men, just stupid, kind of like, kind of like the, the Trump followers. Okay, mm -hmm. so, I mean, is, is, is it a would it be a Trump friendly show? Didn't Rogan? Is he? He didn't. He didn't endorse Trump, did he? He endorsed. No, the, oh, yeah. oh, he endorsed the uh, Robert Kennedy Jr. That's right. I forgot. Oh. That's me. Well, that's a non-starter, so that's good. Yes, yeah, so I guess he picked if he endorsed him, which I guess means that then I guess he'd naturally fall to Trump now since Kennedy's out. So mm -hmm. oh. Kennedy, Kennedy endorsed it, Trump. Promise. Yeah, well, there's one, one some more reason. Position, I guess, right? And, one more reason to dislike the guy. So. Well, he's out. He's gone. So well, you're not he, stressed. He, I, you, he, you don't. You don't seem stressed. I'm a little he, hyper. I can't. I'm just like. You are, yeah. You're kicking things and making all kinds of noises. Well, I can't help it. I mean, this, 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 aren't you uh, like on the edge here with a week to go and it just get into it? You, you, you had enough, you got to get to me. In fact, the movie is something about mirror where the guy's picking his skin off. The guy, I can't get that anymore. <laughs> You're not feeling that way? <laughs> no, not really, because I honestly, I mean, I will be absolutely dumbfounded if, if the gibbon gets in. So, well, you know, yeah, I mean, if it happens, then what are we going to do? <laughs> move. <laughs> right, move. move. <laughs> you're gonna move anyway. You're, you know, you're move, in the move. shit hole. You're gonna move anyway. So <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I've been looking for places. I've been looking for places in Sarasota because that does sound nice down there, and the prices are dropping. Just by yes, the way. they are. Yes, they are. Mm -hmm. I wonder why. <laughs> you'll get a good place, and you'll get a good price. Make sure you stay away from the water. The problem you're gonna have is just getting getting insurance because they. Mm -hmm. Tricky because they don't just you just can't say okay I want flood insurance now there you gotta have you have like four different types of flood insurance so you buy one you think you're covered and something happens you go oh you didn't buy the the river flood insurance you didn't buy the canal insurance you didn't buy the ocean you didn't buy the river it's just like you didn't buy the you didn't buy the you didn't buy the rain one that's just the way it is so yeah yeah I um hmm. I going to get we got a house the type of house we like. Mm -hmm. Got, a, got a, an email for one, and they, uh, one similar to what we like. It was uh, $200,000 less. Wow. I know. That's what we said. 
so why? <laughs> it's an you know why? Change. You know why? Some Do you think it flooded? Go, some aren't gonna, no, not at all. Some people aren't going to rebuild. Some people just want to leave because they don't. Mm -hmm. They want to leave before something happens. So, I mean, it's like it's like five decades before they had a, a, a weather system like that down there. So they had like two yeah. in a row. So people are like it's, but it'll be another five decades before they probably have one again. So we'll see. You, you think? Hmm. Okay. I hope. I hope. Mm. <laughs> I well, be, yeah, I you know, it'd be 120. So, you know, what does it matter, right? See, what I can afford down there, they're mostly these damn condos, and they're going, wow, that's really nice. I guess I could live with that. I could. And you then you get down there, but then you get down to the resort fees or, and, uh, or the oh, HOA fees. HOA, thing. Okay, HOA yeah. fees. Forget it. Some of them are like 700 bucks a month. That's ridiculous. Well, if you want to do condo living, the place for you to go would be Amelia Island, which is because it's all basically condos. So I don't right no, no, I don't I don't want that at all. But I'm just oh, you don't want that. Okay. No, no. I just need a hundred thousand dollars to boost bolster what I got, and then I get a real house. So we start a GoFundMe page for you? Yeah, let's do. <laughs> okay, so what kind of what reason can we come up with for people want to send you money for GoFundMe? I need to leave South Carolina for my mental health. I think that would do it. Okay, so there we, there we go. Mentally challenged. He's having a mm -hmm. mental health issue because of where he lives. Absolutely. That may yeah. work. That may get it's that, a fact. That, we may be able to raise you about 50 bucks. I don't know. Yeah, um, 50 bucks and a button. What's the requirement to put up a page like that anyway? Do you know? Go find me a page? Nothing really. Well, let's, just, give, let's give it a go and see what happens. <laughs> but the thing, you've got to send it out to people. That's the problem. I mean, you can send it I out to your friends, and they're just going to say, "Well, fuck you." Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah there's that. Are. You send that to the audience, and they'll say the same thing. But you, but you show them a picture of what your surroundings are like, where you live, and they go, "Oh, poor guy." The money will start flooding in. Hmm. I don't know, man. I don't okay. know. Just a thought. Just a thought. Yeah. Otherwise, you can, you can hold a bake sale at a car wash. Okay, you can just... Hey, there you go. Hey, you'll make that hundred grand risk there. Yeah, it's you'll just be able to, you'll be able to move in about five years. Yeah. I I, I figure this. I might be able to get. A little over 200 for this house, if I'm lucky, which is nothing. I mean, it's just didn't big mistake, but there you, you go. You picked it. You picked it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I did. I did. And you told me not to. I know. I look at this every day. Yeah, I'm listening to you this time. I'm not going to say anything. So. Not yet. Give me about five minutes. I'll do it then. <laughs> well, since we are hey. one, week, one week away from finally doing getting rid of the saying in election stuff, so I've, yeah. I've been in the, in the swing state of Nevada the past week and a half. Since it is a swing state, the ads are a lot more intense. Uh, they're a lot more heavy on the scare tactics, and, and they're just everywhere. You know, mm -hmm. you have the local politicians here, uh, and, and of course the, the, the two presidential candidates, because it is a swing state. A lot of ads going back and forth, big time. Harris mm -hmm. of course, taking the high road. You know, and we're going to do this. Just don't go back. Here's my policies, and Trump is going. Eh, the Americans going to kill you in your sleep. <laughs> You're gonna, he's getting, dead. You're gonna wake up dead. Yeah, he's getting confused with Halloween. Halloween. Halloween's coming up. He's, he's, he just had the orange glow, so he's ready to go. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like that game. Gotta That's work on your Dracula. So, no, I, I got over here with, with a week to go. Yes. So I don't know which way people go, but whatever. So I've got the ten reasons why you should not vote for Trump. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a like great like idea. A top 10 list, nothing like that. It's just the 10 good reasons why you should not vote for him. Okay. okay. All right. I'm going to press the button. Oh, no. Press the button. Give me, no, give me no, an effect. Button. Give me a drum roll. Give me something. Give me a burp. I don't know what it is. So. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's either pretty, rain or applause. I can't figure out which. Either way, it's pretty abrupt, isn't it? <laughs> it is, isn't it? Hmm. Don't worry. I'll fix it. Can I have it one more time? One more time. Just to see it. One intro. more time. There we go. Okay. See? Pretty Thank cool. you. Thank so you. we have here the 10 reasons in case you need, because there's still, believe it or not, I was talking to someone earlier today going, you yeah, know, I just don't know which way to go. So on the side, I'm going, what the frick? I mean, it's, you're, it's a week to go. They've been all in your face. You still don't know. Mm -hmm. And he said the reason was, he goes, well, uh, don't like Trump. Don't like the other. So I don't know. It's like a coin toss. It's we Said, then don't vote. He goes, no, I just have to. It's, it's my thing. I want to vote. So, so this one is still undecided. So we'll throw this your way. The ten reasons not not to vote for Trump. Okay. Right. Got it. He's number ten. Number ten or number ten. 
he, he's an asshole. I'm sorry. That's my own. That's my <laughs> well, that's number 11. <laughs> that, that's number one. Let's go back to number 10, sir. As president, he did violate his oath to preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution. Okay. You guys mm-hmm. remember that? I'll assume we forget. Yep. All right. Yep. Number nine. Do I get echo? Number nine. Thank you. He won't say that he'll accept the voters' verdict. He loses again. He's going to fight it. He tells people to fight, fight, fight. So why do you want a guy like that? Mm-hmm. Number, Number eight. eight. Thank you. <laughs> he will be able to, he, he's going to be held accountable for his alleged crimes as president only if he's defeated. If he wins, he's going to wipe the slate clean and clean his slate. So he won't, he won't be charged anything. It all comes to an end. He said the first thing he'd do is going to fire that special prosecutor, Jack Smith, within two seconds. Case closed. All of his charges go away. He'll only yeah, be held accountable. Himself. He'll only be himself. held accountable if he loses. So let's make sure he loses, so he can go to prison. He can, he go, can to go to prison. prison. He can go to prison. He should be able to, this new Costello showing off his new new board. It's a yes, <laughs> new broadcast mixing board. He can change it to a little kid voice. It'd be fun. Okay, number seven. Number seven. He'd be the first president with a serious rap sheet. Yeah, that's true. Number six. Number six. He, he's totally unfit to be president. Okay. I think that's been pretty obvious. Okay. Yes. Yes. Uh, number five. Number five. He's a threat to national security. Hmm. People, ex cabinet members, everyone says that, that if he's there because he just. Yeah, it's a big yeah, it, things will be different. Our, our soldiers will be in harm's way, that's for sure. Number four. Number four. What happened to the echo? Did you lose that already? The board Number four. Apart? Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Number four. Thank you. Helium boy. Okay. <laughs> Number four. Number four. <laughs> he doesn't know or care how to constructively address the nation's problems. Think back to COVID. Didn't know what do. Everybody I drink bleach. Drink, drink some bleach. We're okay. Like, mm. I'm going to go to Walter Reed and take care of myself. You guys drink bleach. Okay. Yeah. Fair, right? Number three. He'd further pack the federal courts with more right wing folks. It's going to get worse and worse. Yeah. Jeez, any more. So the Supreme Court, but all, all federal courts. So they just appoint, appoint people just like them. Uh, number two. Number two. Number two. He's a pathological liar. Well, we know that. Yes. Lies all the time. A rapist, a misogynist. Um... Answer you number one. We have number one, number one A. This is number one. Okay. Number one. He was not president for all Americans. We know that. Mm-hmm. And number one A? Number one A. He's an asshole. <laughs> a for asshole. Yeah, well, you can't argue with that. So. That's true. No, those are very good. Those are ten very good points. Not not to um, vote for that asshole. Think of the for people who are still undecided, going, I can't know which way to go. Think of those reasons. So why would you vote for someone with all those things against them? all those things that no. doesn't benefit you in any way, shape, or form? Because you know, if he wins when he gets it, he's going to fire the special prosecutor. He's mm-hmm. going to do all these things to clear his name, get himself free and clear. You know. And then worry about maybe some other stuff down the road. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, other than it's, it, there are so many things that that man did, and uh, since even being in the in the White House, I mean, uh, you know, he's real pally with Putin. Either though, Putin said no, but uh, we know that's not true. Think about he, the time that we had the shortage of uh, COVID kits. Where yes, he sent yeah. for COVID kits, and he sends them to Putin and Russia and said, "Here." Mm-hmm. Here, buddy, this will make you like me more. Make sure mm-hmm. you keep your eyes healthy so you can invade Ukraine, okay? Ah, along with South Korea, who've sent 3,000 troops over there. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> what was that? That's just, it's just, I'm just stressed. It's just a tough time. <laughs> just talking about this stuff, I'm just going, where is that? You just tick them off. There's one. that they just tick off all mm-hmm. the reasons. It's just... No, there are, just, there are just too many. I mean, it's just... Um, uh... Well, he's going to round up all the all the... All the murderers and rapists, immigrants, send them all back. All oh, the immigrants. Oh, no, here you are. You have no green card. Oh, I do. You've extended your stay in this country. Is yes, your, I have. You, you, have. you have a card? Oh, yeah, yeah. I got a green card. Haven't you passed the expiration date? I haven't checked recently. I'm, I'm saying. <laughs> I, I, I think it's still good. I think it's still good. I better check my passport as not. well. And if it's not? If it's not, it'll take, oh, God, they take forever to get. 
and, and the Spanish. Yeah, it'll be Celtic, so I'll, I'll, have to, I'll have to work with the Frenchies by myself. <laughs> hey, that's it. We'll all go and live with them. We'll well, go to the south of France. In the damn good area. So when they yeah. when they called just a minute ago, mm -hmm. I was answered by text. Like, what are you doing about the show? We got to get out there. But these sound these sound stressed. Which one was? Was it anus or? It sour? was anus. It, it was anus. Uh, no, no, it was um, sour. Uh sour. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's he's a happy boy. Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. I don't get it. You but know, you, um, know time, you know the time you It's the same premise as it in England. So what time is it in France right now? Mm -hmm. Uh, 8 p.m., 9 p.m., or later? It's probably about 7. Oh, it's not bad. He should be awake then. He's, oh, yeah. He's working on his first cocktail, and he's uh, making dinner for his blow-up doll, and, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Meet my girl. This is my girl, Brigitte. <laughs> <laughs> Why the duct tape? She springs leaks. Oh, no. <laughs> Why does she spring leaks? Think about it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, well, we'll vote for Brigitte. That's, <laughs> That's a great gag if you got video, but the majority of this is on just sound only. That's okay, it's just it's our skull, guys. We're just doing it's Halloween good. visual stuff. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everyone just oh, you know, everyone just you know, imagine. <laughs> uh, imagine I got a fruitful imagine, imagination going here. Imagine I'm, myself and Costello were 29 years old. Mm hmm. Are really good. We look. We both look uh, like Brad Pitt. We're really cool. Yeah, we get. We both are. It resemble Brad Pitt. So, I, mm -hmm. true. Uh, we did. We're both Twenty nine. So we did. <laughs> About one week, a long time ago, right? <laughs> yeah. I, you know, I got. I got to wonder how Brad Pitt and those guys. You know, the. I guess it's just Hollywood living and a hell of a lot of Botox. I don't know. Weeks. Well, one. One. You got to be born with good genes to begin with. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. It, you can't help that, you know. So you can't pick you can't pick your parents, and so either they yeah. have that look and they pass it on to you, so you don't lose hair. You're a good-looking guy to begin with, and the rest you have to keep yourself up, of course. Mm -hmm. So yeah. since since your looks is how they make your living, so being able to have all that free time to work out, the money to eat right, and have trainers and stuff as part of the deal, right? That's it. Oh, well, I suppose that does help. Okay. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I mean, it must do. And we have discussed this before. And I was saying, well, I'll come out there. So, well, I'll give you, I'll give you new hair. And oh, look, we could, we could do some Botox here and some. We can Botox. do that. We do, we do all that here, Costello. If you come back to Vegas oh, one yeah. time, we'll do a total hair transplant on you. All right. You don't have a damn. Oh, yeah. wrinkle. You don't have I, a damn I, wrinkle on your forehead. Though. I don't know how you got away with that shit. So. No, I got wrinkles in other places. We can, we can do it right there, and we can do it right there. We'll shoot you up. So we'll right shoot there, you. Mean, those lines you have right there. We're gonna shoot oh, Jupiter my, my, right my, up those babies. My jowls. We're gonna shoot Juvederm right up those, and they'll disappear right in front of your face. And this will be gone. And the mm -hmm. patient will have this nice, smooth, youthful face with hair soon to come after. Hey, yeah. We're offering you Costello free. I, I'll Costello, take it. Costello Beauty Makeover. We'll get your ass to Vegas in. Well, I I will soon. I uh, just wanted two things got to happen, and um, uh, then I will. I told Allison, my daughter, that I would be there. Uh, soon, and um, she's she's been doing home maintenance and uh, put two brand new lights in, and then realized they were still turned on. <laughs> she, okay. didn't, she didn't she didn't electrocute herself anyway. Her next her next target is going to be um, uh, a ceiling fan. Is what a ceiling fan? She's going to put her own ceiling fan. You're going to put in a ceiling fan, okay? Mm -hmm. Although you need those in Vegas, especially when it gets to around June, July, and August. It's you got to have them. Got to have them everywhere. You gotta have it. First, gotta. So you I got one here in my out. studio. You yeah. gotta tell it though when you're coming. You're gonna you're gonna be sitting a day here at the clinic for the Costello makeover. Okay. <laughs> you know what? Um, Your hairline back again. What are you gonna do with that? Oh my god. My my <laughs> hair will grow in back. My my got a gap in my front teeth that I never had before. I don't know what's going on here. Get old and everything falls apart. <laughs> you keep separating. Okay. Well, Sorry, twenty nine. I so forgot. We're gonna have some fun though while you're sleeping. And we're doing your hair. We're going to put some uh, extra hair down your back too, just for fun. <laughs> On your shoulders, and and just a nice little tuft here. Yeah, the sun shows up over your shirt. You know, going up your neck. You know. Do you know what I was? I was oh. watching. I was watching a show. They were interviewing. I can some professors and things and this guy came on and he was like a clergyman and he looked just like a clergyman and, and everything was shaved except underneath here there was like this massive bush of hair coming up from there 
and eyebrows. That drives me nuts when I see people with bushy eyebrows. I forgot Trim those babies. Trim exactly. them. Trim yeah. them. Jeez, like a freaking caterpillar. Mm -hmm. Just like you know, a month ago, we had a guy come in yes. to California, and we did chest hair transplant. Okay. Do you often do that? No, but that's what he wanted. He wouldn't, he wanted it like going up this way so he'd come up and grow and, and be over his shirt. And he wanted every shirt he had, he wanted to see, he'd be, see hair coming up over his shirt. Hmm. I said, so I had okay. to do like a, a psych evaluation on him a little bit first, like, okay, just make sure he didn't have other issues going on. Otherwise, he's good job, stable yeah. guy, seemed okay. It's just a thing that was important to him. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. people the foot, like people with a foot fetish. You know? Yeah. I, I suppose we should mention that um, the cancel guys now bought you by Regrow Hair of Las Vegas. <laughs> right, right there. Yeah, it's right. subtle, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Product placement, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Uh, this yeah. is true. What we do. Is, See that there? Yeah. See that there? Mm -hmm. and that there? Mm -hmm. and there? Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. Look at Costello, huh? Look, there, look at his before picture. That's him before. That's my before. When he gets out here a few months later, we'll have an after shot of him. You're going to go, God, look at that woolly mammoth. Where did he come from? Yeah. Yeah. That'd be great. I'll get contact you know, some lenses. People, some, people, some people age better than others. If you look at two guys who are good, two good friends, they just put out a movie together on Apple. So you got Brad, Brad Pitt, same mm -hmm. beside George Clooney. But to me, I think Brad Pitt's aging well. George Clooney. Yeah. Not so much. Hmm. Never thought he's like a handsome guy anyway. I mean, you know. No, I don't. Brad Pitt, I do. you think he's a guy's guy? Guys like him too. Women love him. And mm -hmm. you, you look at Brad, he's a good looking guy. First well, you know, his eyeballs you know, got his, really big. And so I don't know. He's you know, his mother, him. his mother was uh, Rosemary Clooney. That wasn't his mother. That was his, his aunt. His aunt. Oh, yeah. I thought it was his mother. Well, yeah. she was tiny. Uh, she was like a little tub, a little barrel. Rosemary Clooney was a was a helium blip. What are you talking about? Yeah, tiny. well, okay, <laughs> that's putting tiny. it nicely. Tiny, tiny. What year did you see her at birth? I mean, a helium blimp. She was big, yeah. Big. Yeah. Now I worked with her at the Desert Inn uh, many years ago. She had a really loud, belty voice, didn't she? Mm -hmm. Yep. There was her oh. and Linda Ronstadt were there, and they, they were obviously, you know, it was later on. It wasn't, it wasn't that long ago, but it was yeah, yeah, 20 years ago. We always do the baby boomers uh, deaths, okay? Oh, baby God. boomer death. Well, I'm sorry. There's so I'm many. Sorry. How many? You, you, probably won't, you probably won't even know who this is, I bet. No, I bet not. He used to wear like a tuxedo. He had that handsome look, and he did sing classics. He was always on variety shows. He guest oh. starred in all the stupid series all the time. He had, you know, Love America style, all that stuff. So, uh, so and, Jack. Jack Johnson? Yes, Jack Jones. Jack Jones. I was close. Yay. You did. Yeah. My, I mentioned some people, and people going, who's that? I got to show a picture. Oh, I know that guy. Mm -hmm. so oh. what, what, he didn't, what famous song did he sing that was, that was played every week? The Love Boat. Exactly. Love Boat. Mm -hmm. Damn, because I'm impressed. He actually knew shit this week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not football. <laughs> Speaking of football. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I wonder how... Um... Ohio's doing. I was watching that before we started recording. Were you watching? I'm watching uh, Old Miss in Oklahoma. Oh like, well, I bet. Like is Miss. Oklahoma I'm getting beaten again? Yes, they are. <laughs> God, oh, man, Old Miss. Who cares about Oklahoma? You like Oklahoma? I used to live right there in Norman. Well, no one. Yeah. You, you, you're picking all the cheap places to live, but look at where you have to wake up at every day. I'm in Norman, <laughs> Oklahoma. I'm in oh no, Norman! No, no, man. That, that was I'm cool. in Little Rock, Arkansas. Somebody shoot me! <laughs> <laughs> now Norman was cool. They did. <laughs> uh, that was the ventriloquist Chris Bailey. My wife's sister <laughs> with friend. Son. My wife's sister's son got a job doing old rig stuff out there in Arkansas, and so since he has a, a new baby, she thought, "Well, I'll go, I'll go live out there and mm -hmm. be close. I can be grandma and help take care of the kid while he goes to work on these." long shifts and sometimes away up in town so she found this like four bedroom home with a big swimming pool in arkansas for a little over two hundred thousand. i went are you kidding me but the problem oh, is yeah. like here you have this but look where you wake up every day you know so you got unless you're just a total homebody and, and you don't venture out from the home in the pool so you don't realize where you're at you know it's like <laughs> why don't you do want to go do stuff you, freaking arkansas yeah our kansas yeah yeah that would um it's like uh, watching, are you watching the um, Tulsa King thing, Sly Stallone? The what? Oh, Sly Stallone. Tulsa King. 
Tulsa. Oh no, no, it's it's on again, isn't it? Yeah, no, I I he's haven't. Too, man, it's funny, funny. He's good. He's good. He's really good at it. So. He never does TV so series voice. His first one. That's Pretty it's. Awesome. Yeah, it's it's. I've seen bits of it, and it's very good. I've been watching the farm, uh, Clarkson's well, it's farm. Created by the guy who created Yellowstone. Okay, oh, it's going to be good. Kingstown, eighteen eighty three. All that stuff. The the idea is great. Here's Sly Stallone who who kept silent to protect mob boss in New York. He served twenty five years in prison, so he's out. He's coming back. He, he expects his big welcome, and they go, "Well, we're going to pick it up, but we're going to give you a new territory to work." He's thinking, "Oh, Bronx, whatever." That goes Tulsa, Oklahoma. He's going. Yeah, you know, not what I expected. You know, to tell <laughs> off of Tulsa to be the king mob pin there. So, and so it makes it kind of funny. So here's a New York mob guy trying to run things like they did in New York. In mm -hmm. Pretty funny, good show, good show. I shall I shall start to watch it because I've run out of other things. I like the way um, I said that. I I shall start to watch it. That's I not the British thing. I shall start. Who talks that way? I shall start to watch it. Well, King because Charles. Because football game, right? Football games are Costello, yeah. I shall I start shall. to watch the football game, the feed ball. Oh, I'm just screwing with you. Um, <clears throat> like Bobby Boucher, yeah. You play the foosball. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Well, my favorite movie, I love the water boy. Love water boy. We'll insert something that in there just to get over that little uh, dead air. Um, I, I, I shall watch something. I shall watch that. I, I shall. shall. I shall. Well, we are, of course, the cancelled guys, and you That's can find a damn good reason too. Yeah, and uh, you will find us on chrisandcostello.com, uh, where it still says the original cancelled radio guys, which was us. If you can uh, find us, we've been cancelled by our own producers and marketers. So. <laughs> Don't know where the hell, hell they've been. I don't know. We must have pissed them so off so we hired them. They were hiring going to go, oh, we're going to do this. We're going to get you out there. You need some new sponsors. Uh, you get you out there on TikTok. You're going to have a few, two, three million new followers and stuff. And we're going, okay, we're just ticking them off. And guess what they've done so far? <laughs> Not doing eyeballs. Nothing. Well, we have been, actually have got kicked off um uh, Facebook cancel again from what we got canceled on Facebook and uh Instagram. <laughs> Jesus Christ, for what? I don't know. I still, I got you know, I got another thing saying that uh, something else had uh, been canceled on one of my other pages. No wonder we're canceled. We're, we're, we're talking to each other here. <laughs> I know. Maybe, maybe we are. <laughs> That's a sad truth. <laughs> don't ignore me. <laughs> we, we had all this stuff. You know, and they started with all this stuff, and it lasted maybe a month. And now, where is it? Yeah, that's true. We have given them a lot. We of have stuff. to do like that, go back doing our own postings and stuff, which is not a bad thing. I mean, but we we hired some help. We got. Like, hopefully, listen, they're going to be pissed off. But hey, we're just standing out there, guys. So prove us out. But he wants you to call him after the show, right? I believe so. Yeah, he said in two hours. We beat him up, man. Just what? <laughs> I'm going make well, it. yeah. Make it up. Why don't you call? Why don't you call him? Well, just you know, when he calls you, just you know, if he, he guess everyone's talking about, it, just call me and give me put me on a three way, okay? Um, yeah, that's type three. I'm not type three three way. I'm used to, but I'll, I'll go on that. Okay. You can you can be bad cop. Um, yeah. Well, we need three type of three way for me, so let's try. It. Oh, okay, we'll, we'll give it a try. We'll. Uh, We're having a three way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is not what I had in mind. French people. <laughs> oh, wait you a bring, minute. They're calling you bring, again. You, you bring the baguette. What? Frenchies no. calling again? No, actually, it was just Dallas, uh, Texas. Well, put it out. Let's see what it is. Answer. No, it's too late. I, I dumped them already. Oh, you dumped them? He, yeah. I, I dumped them. That, that's, that's what that sound was. I dumped oh, Okay. <laughs> you were telling Mark to call Costello. I'm going to dump him. So. <laughs> Well, that's kind of hey, exciting. We're, we're, we're good. we have scheduled one more show before election day. So we're like actually Halloween we're special. About nine, we're about nine days out. So when we come on to a new show, folks, we'll be about just uh, two or three days away. So it so will at, be at that time. Let's just have one more desperate person on. I, I think we should have. Uh, uh, he's asked to come on, so we'll just we'll have JD Vance on next sex show. Fair enough. Oh, really? Okay. Well, he's, he's a weird freaking freak job. So let's go and have it. Should be entertaining anyway. So. All right. Hey, you heard that um, Phil... He has some, some kitty appetizers when he comes on. When do you do that? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. 
Doggy but, finger sandwiches, little kitty, 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 you know, puff duties. We, we should have a moment silent for uh, Phil Lesh, who died at 84. Okay, he was Grateful Dead. Yeah. I, just I hated him. That. I didn't like him either. I didn't like him either. He, he, he's the one who started the, 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 the off-song riffs that just went on for half an hour, 40 minutes, mm -hmm. and, you know, and all that is going, oh, this is great. I just, to me, it's like, oh, this is sucks. I mean, it just, it just goes out there. It's like listening to <laughs> a jazz musician just, I'm going to my own riff for an hour. I'll, I'll be back. Uh, great. Don't take me with you. Mm -hmm. Hey, did you, um, did you hear that El um, Elon Musk is giving away a million dollars to people who um, register in certain areas? Well, they got to sign up for the uh, pack, his, his pack thing. They got to support oh. their pack. Um, okay. And you have to be a registered voter for one to be eligible for it. Mm -hmm. You got to sign that petition. The Department of Justice is going, it's eh, kind of leaning a little bit to, you know, on the legal side. I'm going, well, good. Bust them, <laughs> crack them, charge them. Come on, do it. Add to the list. Let's see here. I, I'm just looking at things. Well, here. Another reason we're talking about the reason not to vote for Trump, real quick. Think mm -hmm. about this. If he wins, he's going to appoint Robert Kennedy Jr., conspiracy theorist, idiot, to a, a cabinet post. Elon Musk will get a cabinet post. I mean, the, oh sure, it's gonna be what that we're gonna be freaking dead. You, you know, know what? It'll be Elon Musk and JD Vance. That's that's there's your power couple right there. Right. Also, Trump will have died. So I brought up a good point. They're going. The Trump says all these things. He he, he lies. He's getting exact. He, all these things have happened in the past two weeks. If it happened to anybody else, it would be horrendous. That person's campaign would be dead. They're going. Why does it stick to Trump? I guess I never thought that his followers are so dumb and uneducated. They just it didn't sink in. They think, hey, well, so what's wrong with that? You know, if you have any brains or an education, you're you're gone, you know. But to the stupid and uneducated, they're just going, hey, yeah, problem with that. Hey. Hmm. Well, that and, um, oh, I, I like this bit here. Apparently, uh, J.D. Vance says that his friends aren't even going to vote for him. <laughs> <laughs> friends are educated. They, but people went to college with. They're not really friends. They're just going. We don't want to associate with that prick. So. Yeah, really. Yeah. Oh, look, more people have died. Oh dear. Uh, <laughs> it's this. Uh, I don't know what this is. I'm looking at it. It's, so uh, before the election, we do have something very important. It's a big deal to me. It's Halloween. So. Oh house, yeah. You, you decorate for Halloween? Do you expect the trigger treaters there in Columbia? No. No. Didn't have any dress up besides the, the white sheet and stuff. Carrying torches? Is that the? the <laughs> I might burn a cross in the front yard. <laughs> is that the big Halloween costume for Columbia? Yeah, uh, there you go. We used to. Oh, yeah, I used I'm to a do it. Gay, gay member. And I used to do that. Uh, all that stuff for the kids back in Vegas. It was fun back when people did. And um, my house street. Is I, I got my headless Harry up. I got my big nine foot clown. He shakes and talks to you. I got him up. I got my <laughs> guy sitting in the front porch. He rocks. He goes, "What the hell are you doing on my porch? Get the hell my yard." You better run if I shoot you. So, yeah, I'm into it. Yeah, I, I can see. <laughs> Who's got the nicer teeth? Who's got the nicer teeth? <laughs> I think you should give out, like, morphine and stuff to the kids. <laughs> Hair children. <laughs> we can do that if you want. We can lace your candy. Get, get, get. My, my next door neighbor in, in Vegas used to really get, oh, she still does. She was a teacher and she had a bunch of parrots and things. So the parrots and everything would be sitting on the front step with her. Oh, that's you great. Know. I love stuff like that. Yeah. That's great. She still does that? I think so. If you went down South 9th Street, just off Charleston, yeah, you'll see her. Okay. She'll be yeah, out there. The exact address. I got to go by and pay a visit. I'll One, two, up. three, five. I'll dress up and go ring your doorbell. I'll be dressed up as you. <laughs> You go either side. I, I don't know the guy who bought my house. I'm not sure if he. Uh, I know who it is. You know. I mean, I know. I, I knew him. He didn't realize that I knew him with a couple of other people. And um, about oh, less than a year ago, I got this phone call from him, which is kind of weird. This is the guy who bought your house. Hey, what the fuck happened to the? Who were the people who put the solar on the house? Go, oh man, I can't remember why. Well, it doesn't fucking work. <laughs> can't find the people who put it in. Can't find the company. I go. Ah, I'd say you got a problem. I'd say I wouldn't be paying yeah, yeah. him anymore. <sighs> oh, well, I don't know what he does for Halloween. But, um, don't want to know. Don't want to know. But being here in Vegas is kind of like a, you know, kind of Halloween's kind of a big deal here. So there's a lot of stuff yeah. going on at the strip there. But of course, people get into it around here. So I mean, I'm excited about it. It'd be, it'd be fun. Yeah. So you go down, go to, if you go down, um, like Oki, 
uh, Oki Boulevard. Oki, mm-hmm. Oki's pretty close to where I'm at. Oki's close, yeah. What happens down there? Uh, well, people just do they do trick or treat. I, mean, I, went to, I had to get some of the grocery store after work last night. Here we are, like a week from Halloween. Some mm-hmm. guy in total clown face. He made it up. Just walking in the grocery store, and I go, "Am I cool or what?" <laughs> it's like, it looks great. <laughs> I'm going, dude. So it's a week away, and I'm gonna be doing it every day That's until Halloween. Good, looks good, <laughs> man. Enjoy it, rock it. So <laughs> they, they get crazier. That's why I like about it. It's fun. So Halloween's a fun. Time. It's fun. It's one of my favorite. Well, well, well let's see if we can plan Halloween something. Day. Plan something special as a Halloween special. As we haven't done anything special in a while. Well, except I'll just for give a tip for people who want to watch something fun for Halloween. Watch on Netflix the Hubie Halloween with Adam Sandler. He did it a couple of years ago, but it's really funny. It's mm-hmm. really good. So it reminds me of your backdrop because he dresses up as a ghost and he puts the sheet on. He's got urine stains all over it. It's just, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lovely. All the kids. It's just really funny. He's just got the, the ultimate nerd called Hubie Halloween. So watch that. I got, all right. I, got, I got Halloween stuff. So you want to do it next week? I got tons of good stuff. So all right. Well, let, let me know what when I, I can I can get my sound pad working. Get your sound pad working. I got the Halloween songs. You get there. Oh. Let them in. <laughs> let me see. Uh number five. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. And I think number oh, we know what number six is. I can record up to 30 minutes on each one of these pads, by the way. Excellent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's worth, I hope it's worth the money. <laughs> hope we'll so. See. Have fun playing with it. And uh, yeah. I'll, I'll go off to the Frenchies when you talk to them, okay? All right. <laughs> I'll give them your love. Um, so next week we'll do some Halloween. And yes. We'll have, let's uh, do JD Vance on, which is a pretty scary thing for Halloween in itself, anyway. Yeah. Let's do, yeah, JD Vance. I'd like so to, much to him. ask him. I mean, you notice his wife is like, Disappeared like Melania Trump. She's nowhere to be found either because she's a woman of color and stuff. Mm-hmm. He's like an obvious racist bigot type guy. It's just like, you know, what? <laughs> what? I mean, why, why is she being quiet? I mean, does she agree with all this shit that he says? I mean, it, I guess she might. I, I don't know. They got kids. She's still married to him. I don't know. Yeah, well, you know, he was basically we'll find out. he's a well, man of letters. What? I mean, he wrote that book, didn't he? Him by the elegy. Jeez. <laughs> But We're going crack, to hell. Crackhead mom, my Appalachian upbringing, you know, exciting. Well, stuff. I'll tell you what, we'll start. We'll 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 start screaming now, and uh, see you next week. Well, I watched the movie. I want to see what it was about. I watched it when it came out a couple of years ago. I it, I thought Glenn Close, who played his his uh, grandma, who kind of raised him because his mom was a crackhead. She did good. She she was. Uh, I mean, Glenn Close. Wait a minute. Him. Wait a minute. What what movie is this? The Hillbilly Elegy. The J.D. Oh, Bell. Oh, 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 oh. Book became a movie on Netflix starring Glenn Sorry, I, I, I was busily Debbie wrapping Brown. up the show there. Did you, <laughs> you ever brain fart for a second? Okay. <laughs> yeah. There it is. <laughs> brain fart? No, you just weren't listening. What the fuck's wrong with him? I don't know. I'm getting, what are you dumb? And... <laughs> hey, I got so more oh, buttons. A new to toy. Okay. I got more buttons to press. Oh, there wait, you man. go. So get to work on that. So yeah. we'll do uh, Halloween goodies next week. Uh, J.D. Vance on with our last shot before election. We'll give him air time just to give him shit because he's an idiot. So what the heck? Yep. Okay. We'll do that. <laughs> and more helium voices from Costello. Oh, yeah. boy. I tell you, this is so much fun. Oh, That's wait like a minute. Someone's, I get a... Sounds like someone's got your nuts and just squeezing them out and you, and you talk. <laughs> I got my radio voice here. <laughs> oh. Oh. There's the radio voice. There's the radio voice right there. Matter okay. of fact. As a matter of fact, that guy you wanted me to call or wanted to talk to, you remember you said this guy might call a, a client coming out. Had the greatest radio voice, man. Really did. You do now. Yep. Did you did you figure out who it was in the end? No. Oh no, that's not good. Oh well, no, he's, he's in LA. Good. Who are you talking about? I'm. I'll t- I'll tell you when we're finished. Okay. Which is, okay. Right. So All right. We're we're finished, we have yeah. the plan to get ready for for next week. So it'll be pretty cool. So it'll be fun. All right. There's all those people back here. Mm-hmm. So, so it's all see done. We're done. We'll see you next week. I don't know who that is. That, that's right. your, is that your mom? Who's that back here? You see him? Yeah. Look.